Shan first here. Welcome to this video. Happy new month to you all. And let's have a great month. Of course, this month we will be expecting a new season, Big Brother Niger season. So hopefully, fingers crossed, and let's hope that we get a very entertaining housemate uh, this season. Once again, thank you so much for supporting this channel. If you are new to my channel, thank you and you are welcome let's get into uh the video um yesterday was the final episode of the level of reunion and of course uh ibuka kind of wrap it up quick 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 it's as if he himself he's tired of the reunion i be he's tired <sighs> there's a whole lot all over the place in terms of this level of reunion the vibes of the housemates were kind of not opening up when questions were asked uh, a whole lot i'm i would definitely be doing a recap of you know the level up reunion but yesterday um a lot was discussed you know just to wrap up the reunion and uh, they went to lay by a uh, model as well as brian's situation if you don't remember you know brian was kind of feeling lay by lay by was also you know kind of feeling him as well until um modella was introduced into the season and uh you know there was this kind of switch uh brian was showing interest in modella as well well yesterday uh elebae kind of revealed that she was also uh you know feeling uh brian at the time uh they were kind of just flirting having fun and uh, as they call it vibing so they were all just kind of vibing and nothing serious at all and also the plan to have a conversation right before their eviction or after after their eviction if that is if they survive you know they uh Le Baye and brian kind of have a had a clash uh where brian kind of insulted um Le Baye, i mean calling his dad and all that so all that was addressed yesterday for brian when questions were asked he was i don't know he was thinking too much to answer the question he was i don't know man i don't i really i really really do not know all he said was he was vibing he was not feeling Le Baye. they were cuddling and that was it nothing serious for him he wasn't planning to have anything concrete in the house either so in all of this it was just vibe and um getting fire came in when Levi was like he they were having a conversation where brian kind of said he was feeling Levi. so she had that conversation between brian and giddy fire you know to wrap it all up uh this was some conversation that that we held uh Levi, i wasn't dating brian in the house i wasn't even feeling him like that so uh yeah he this was one conversation she also had in the house and then uh i felt that the reason why uh, brian went for modella was because i wasn't giving him the attention brian i don't think i was playing with Libra in the house we we were vibing with her we were never really an item in the house but you once told me in the house that you wanted to kiss me no 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 but into laughter so yep uh modella said i was just normal with libaye she was a housemate who i talked to when i when we have to i felt that brian and Liba had a thing before i entered the house so this colleague that was what was discussed nothing you know that triangle nothing really happened and they also discussed about um modella and libaye kind of had a crash uh and i mean clash not crash had a clash you know about easy control gel or stuff like that so that was also resolved uh the res resolution was that you know they are not friends they were just housemates that were just as usual vibing with each other so uh that was also concluded nothing serious nothing happened vibe throughout for modella uh brian as well as ili Baye. so moving on to the next story of course this one is also uh from survey well for some survey uh yesterday it was revealed that he was having a lot of crash on so many ladies uh from uh amaka i didn't know he really liked amaka i got to know that yesterday yeah amaka chrisio and as well as diana hmm 
I I knew of Diana. I didn't even know Amaka in PCO. This was one of the surprises for me yesterday. And also, it was also revealed that according to Diana, uh, you know, uh, no, from some kind of approach, he, her, and, uh, you know, just told her that, look, I kind of like you, you care for me in the arena and stuff. So we'll go on a date sometime, you know, soon. And Diana said, up to now, the date has not happened. That was one of the hilarious moments yesterday. If Christio was still in the house after Amaka uh, disappointed me, I would have gone for her. I would have gone for her. In other words, she was your plan B. Yes. <laughs> Epuka, I was just realizing that just now that I am from service plan C, after the house when I was going on media round, he told me that he will take me on a date. I said, okay, but till now, we are still on it. Since September, well, that is it. Uh, from Save was all over the place. He will tell me, Christio, I love you. He declared the same love for Amaka at some point. Some point to Diana, Diana too. I think he was confused in the house and he's still confused now. Uh, well, no. This is a side note. Yesterday, you know, Christio looks so pretty uh you know in her dress and also at the reunion she looked very pretty well uh you know like i said this was some sub stories uh at the reunion that was kind of discussed yesterday and um to wrap it all up you know uh like we still said from Savi is kind of confused now well at the end um uh there is the date that will be happening which of course is from Savi and diane hopefully uh, we get content, we get videos from that particular uh, date. If not, well, it didn't happen either. So, yes, um, that was how the reunion ended yesterday. Uh, Ibuka, you know, or should I say, uh, multi choice played their lovely moments, laughter, joy, love video for all of them, and at the end, they all clap. And Ibuka kind of asked them if the reunion was worth it for them. Was it worth it for them? All of them were like, yeah, there's some good clarity. You know, some may not be friends anymore. Some have resolutions and stuff like that. So everybody was like, well, it's a good thing to have reunion, have a closure of what everybody think about you and stuff like that. And Dan I mean, Daniela was the one who spoke and of course, according to her, she said, well, some people were dragging issues too long and they could have called each other and just resolved that. I mean, if they resolve the issue, what is the need for renewal? You see what I'm saying? Like, I mean, yes, they could resolve it and still have some issues come and then tell us, okay, yeah, this happened and this is not happening. So, and then this one says, uh, Chomzi Ebuka, I'm happy for the reunion opportunity because it allowed me that some people, sorry, some person had bad intention towards me, yet always smiling at me. This is, of course, uh, to Eloswa. And Eloswa came in defending himself and said, look, I care about you, but it seems my caring was not enough for you. But anyways... Uh, wish you all the best and stuff like that. So that was also how that ended with Eloswag and Chumzi. So yes, in conclusion, the reunion ended yesterday. And uh, trust me, I'm going to make a recap of the reunion. My honest opinion about the reunion. Everything like whether we are disappointed, whether it was cool, whether it's above average. I'm going to have a video on that. And also here is beauty's uh appreciation for everyone everything uh you know including uh multi-choice as well as like people that i just well as everyone and also here is a decolis appreciation post as well we, we came we saw peace so yes uh it's a piece from everyone of level up season to their fans hopefully we'll get one or two or even three from this season in the new, you know, uh, Big Brother Niger All Stars that will be airing this month, hopefully. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.